Okay, so I'm going to work out number four of the independent practice. Let's see. Let's scheme. Mm -hmm. Let's see our plan of attack. Mm, let's look at the Z's. I have a negative six and a negative two. Uh, I don't want to mess with that. Y's. Definitely, I am not going to mess with the Y's. I have a coefficient of five, four, and two. How about X? I think X is good. I'm going to first eliminate X. So I'm going to number my equations. One, two, and three. Oh, no. No. And three. Okay. And then, um, first of all, let's go ahead and pair up. Definitely pair up two and three. Negative 2x minus 4y minus 2z equals negative 20. And then 2x minus 2y plus z equals 0. Let's go ahead and add them. So we have negative 6y minus z equals negative 20. Okay, so this is my fourth equation, and I have succeeded. I have eliminated x. Now, hmm, I can pair up 1 and 2, but I have to switch one of them to, I have to multiply one of them by a negative. Um, I'm going to pair up 1 and 3. Okay, I'm going to pair up 1 and 3. I have a negative x minus 5y minus 6z equals negative 29. And then I have a 2x minus 2z plus z equals 0. And all I have to do is multiply this one by 2. So that's going to get me negative 2x minus 10y minus 12z equals negative 18 negative 29 times 2 is 18, 2 times 2 is 4, 58, negative 58, 29 times, negative 58, okay? So let's go ahead and, this has become my new number 1, let's go ahead and add them to, add the two equations, so I have negative 12y minus 11z equals negative 58. So this has now become my fifth equation. So let's go ahead and combine them together, line them up, so we can take a look. 4 and 5 together. Okay, so we have negative 6y minus z equals negative 20. And then we have negative 12y minus 11z equals negative 58. Okay, I'm going to multiply the top one. I'm going to try to eliminate. Hmm, let's see what I'm going to try to eliminate. I'm going to try to eliminate uh, y. Okay, so I'm going to multiply by negative 2. So that's going to give me 12y plus 2z equals 40 and then I'm just going to transfer this negative 12y minus 11z equals negative 58 so I get negative 9z equals negative 18 divide both sides by negative 9 so z equals 2. Z equals 2. Now that I've gone through and found Z, I'm going to use 4 or 5 to find myself um, the Y. I'm going to go ahead and use 4, which is negative 6Y minus Z equals negative 20. And I'm going to substitute Z equals 2. Okay, so I have negative 6Y minus 2 equals negative 20. Negative 6y minus 2 equals negative 20. Negative 6y equals um, add 2, so I have negative 18. 
So divide both sides by negative 6. Y equals 3. Okay, y equals 3. Now, I have y equals 3. Z equals 2. Let's go ahead and use one of the equations. I've run out of space, so I'm going to move on to the next one. Okay. So looking at the three equations, looking at the three equations, um, I'm going to use 3 because it has 0 in it. Ha ha. I'm going to use 3 to find, was it my x? Let's see. Yes. So 3 was 2x minus 2y plus c equals 0. And we had y equals 3 and z equals 2. Just make sure. 3 and 2. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and substitute. So we have 2x minus 2 times 3 plus 2 equals 0. 2x minus 6 plus 2 equals 0. 2x minus 4 equals 0. 2x equals 4. x equals 2. So my answer is 2, 3, 2. 2, 3, 2. Yep, and it'll check out. Good job, guys.